Look at this beautiful kale. There is so much kale in this one little half of a raised bed. What's up guys? Hey, this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. Guess what today is? It is the first day of spring 2017. The spring equinox is today. And it couldn't be any more beautiful today. Awesome day. Got a lot of stuff I want to get done today. It's spring. The changing of the seasons. Time to get that garden going. Time to get those plants started. Time to get everything in gear. I mean, we are officially in spring. We're no longer in winter, guys. You'll, you'll, you'll take all that snow and get rid of all that stuff. It's spring. So, you know, with the changing of the seasons, going from winter to spring, kind of got me thinking, my channel, this channel, this goofy guy that you guys seem to enjoy watching, has changed my channel has grown a you know I say a lot not substantially but I've got quite a few more subscribers in the last oh say two months and with that growth I mean it's just been awesome it's been great but I just want to say thank you there's so many people out there that leave just the, the nicest the most encouraging comments on my channel on my videos it's just amazing to see uh, how you guys can get behind somebody and, and just be so encouraging and I just want to say thank you, and I really appreciate that, guys. So, welcome to all the new subscribers. I mean, you may have been around for a month or two, and I may not have actually said welcome. So, there you are. Welcome to my channel. I hope you stick around. Um, we're growing, just having a great time, having a blast. Uh, nobody's here with me today, so it's just going to be me. But Houston, Emily, Weston are all at school. Mom's at work. But it is the first day of spring. And I've already snuck out here to the barn this morning. I have a little surprise for you guys. Any guesses what it is? Let's go see. Good morning there, little cranky mama hen. What's that I spy there? Woo! Somebody had her baby, and she is not happy. How many babies you got? Look you there. Look at all those little babies. Baby chicks everywhere. Easy, mama. Easy. You are not nice, are you? You are very protective. Yeah, how's that for the first day of spring, guys? We got new baby chicks, and they're up on the edge of this bale of hay. So I cannot leave her there, because those baby chicks will start going, Tew! and she's not ready to leave with them just yet. And I want to do her like I did that other mama hen, and get her in that cage, just to protect those babies for a couple weeks. Because, like I said in the last video, when I moved the last mama chicken, Everything around here wants to kill a baby chick. But are you just mad at me? You're just mad, aren't you? She, she does not like me. And that's okay. She's a good mama. All right, guys, I shut the camera down for a little while just to try to get some work done in here. Uh, I can get a lot more work done when I turn the camera off because I get to blabbing and not paying attention to what I'm doing. But... All three of the new raised beds, irrigation is done. I'll show that to you in just a second. Uh, I got all of my tea tape or drip tape, whatever you want to call it, uh, in place on these three new beds. These three over here, I still need to do some work on, but that, that can wait. No big deal. Um, I got an extra piece of poly pop fitted and ran here for my crops that I plant directly in the ground. And everything is good. Got a lot more planting done. Fix and start some more seeds, probably if I can get a, if I can get motivated. It's getting warm in here, but let me show you the irrigation and what all else I got planted today. So this looks a lot better now that I have all of my PVC pipe covered up. Let me walk you through it real quick. So my garden line, garden hose comes in, 
got a little drip where that hose is connected but that's an easy fix just put a wire where i can turn on and off to my um, pressure reducer down to my shutoff valve into the ground and each one comes up into poly pipe valves drip tape all the way down so all three of these beds are ready to go Got three rows of drip tape there I put in before I covered it up I put in another T and a riser to go onto a piece of poly pipe here and that will allow me to put drip tape like this on this row and then I'll have probably two more rows I'm not sure probably tomatoes down the middle I don't know we'll see goes on over to that one tied in underground to those three that's more to come and then that stubs up there where I can continue on and go outside if I choose to so this bed is starting to look much more green so we'll start on this end I'll give you a little walkthrough a watermelon radishes two kinds of bok choy bok choy love it awesome for juicing kind of hard to see but there's those cylindra beets from M.I. Gardener. They're coming along. Some spinach. That's a, a variety I got from M.I. Gardener. On down to some smaller spinach. Just kind of a succession. This will come in. This stuff should mature a lot sooner than, than this stuff. It's pretty small, but I went ahead and put those soil blocks out. Threw a few more onions in the middle. Uh, I got some open space here. And then the end of the bed is a whole tray of broccoli and that's a purple variety of broccoli that I also got from in my gardener so everything's coming along nicely in here I'm really excited um, I'm just I don't know I I'm way ahead of gardening season this year way ahead of where I've ever been but it's it's because of this high tunnel but I mean it's greening up in here guys I'm getting excited oh I'm kind of thinking it's almost lunchtime. I need to go get some lunch. I have to work this evening. So I'm not going to go anywhere and pick up lunch. But thinking I may make a little juice for lunch. I'm thinking carrot, apple, kale. Three ingredients. Nice juice. Carrot, apple, kale. And guess what? Carrots, kale. So the only thing that would be not from here that would go into this juice would be the apples. So I'm going to pick some carrots and kale and go make some juice. There's the carrots. Look at this beautiful kale. There is so much kale in this one little half of a raised bed. Check this out. Lots and lots and lots of gorgeous, beautiful kale. It's great in the juice. Here's what it looks like. I'm juicing three apples. Uh, that big handful of beautiful carrots. Look at those. And I just cut most of the tops off. I'll still leave a little bit attached because I'm not worried about it. I'm juicing them. And look at this mountain of kale. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh. It's all fixing to go into my Breville Juice Fountain Plus. I love it. Here you go. Check it out. Green juice. Like I said, carrot, apple, kale. Now, if you're just getting into juicing, you're just starting, you might want to go easy on the greens because they're pretty strong. Put more fruit in it and work your way up. Um, I've been drinking this stuff for a long time. Uh, my wife and I have probably been juicing for close to three, four years. I take that back. Maybe more like five years. I don't know. But I can handle a lot of these vegetables, so if you're going to get into it, go with mostly fruit to start with, because those vegetables are pretty potent, but it's delicious. <sighs> yes, you talk about good for you. Look at all that chlorophyll. I mean, come on. How can it get any more healthy than liquid kale? <laughs> uh, I'm going to enjoy my lunch, guys. Well, that was a delicious, nutritious lunch. In the comments the other day, someone asked a question about what I do with the uh, pulp left over from my juicer. 
Well, here it is. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it goes straight to my chickens, which is where it's headed right now. But in the comp that comment I was talking about, they suggested that I, I save it and start a worm farm and use this in a worm farm. Ooh, there went a potato, <laughs> scrap potato. Uh, they suggested I started a worm farm because this would be perfect in a worm farm. That's a really good idea. And I have thought about it in the past, just never got around to it. So that may be something worth looking into. I have to do a little research on that because I never had a worm farm. But I got chickens and my chickens love this. It's a good, 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 good chicken feed for them. All right, guys. Well, that's all about all I have for the day. Uh, that's what I do with my juicer pulp. And if you're more interested in learning about juicing, go check out the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Um, it's free on Netflix, probably on YouTube also. Um, if you're interested in that juicer I've got, that's the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. I'll leave a link below in the description. Uh, it's an Amazon link, affiliate link, but uh, they're really good juicers, so I think you'll you'll like it. Um, Got all my chores done and it's time to get cleaned up and get ready for work. So thanks for watching guys. I do appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on the next video.